Here's an interesting little technique that you can implement with the geometry generator in QGIS. I have one map layer showing the election results from 2019 in the UK. And that just looks like we would expect with the colors relating to individual political parties. But if we want to kind of explode this and separate it out, but somehow maintain the shape, we could do that using a geometry generator style. And what I did was I right clicked and duplicated the layer and I've already applied the style. So let's look at what I'm talking about. So you can see there, the areas are just now kind of exploded out and they're all separated, but we can still see the overall shape of the country. And if I double click on the results layer, we already had it categorized by party. So what I did was I went to symbol and I clicked the drop down button at the end and then configure symbol. And then instead of it being on simple fill, I changed it to geometry generator and I used the expression that you see. And this expression is in the information for this video. The translate function, which has been available for quite a while in QGIS. If you don't see it, it just means you're using an older version and you need to update. Translate moves things. And the first part of the function, geometry, it's gonna move individual geometries, in this case polygons, by the X value and the Y value. And I could just put meter values in here, but what I've done is I've moved it using the coordinates of X and Y, which is the centroid of each shape. And then in cases like this, this just moves things in a nice proportionate manner. The best way is just to take a layer and experiment with it yourself. So that's how I was able to move this and put it in a different position. If you wanted, I'm gonna copy that. If you wanted to create a permanent new layer that was configured like this, rather than just in a style, go to the processing toolbox, look for geometry by expression, and then you can paste your expression into that box and then save your layer, whatever file type you want. But for now, that's just a quick map trick using geometry generator styles.